A fundraiser to honor one of the young victims of the Sandy Hook Elementary School massacre took place right here in Baltimore. It's a second annual Joey's Purple Ball honoring seven year old Josephine Gay. 11 News reporter Karen Campbell joins us live now here in the studio with more. Karen. Well, Kai, Joey's parents, Michelle and Bob Gay, say they were overwhelmed with the amount of support tonight. They are also promoting their new foundation called Safe and Sound Schools to help make schools safer. A shooting America will never forget. The Sandy Hook massacre took the lives of 26 people, 20 children, including seven year old Josephine Gay. She had just turned seven years old. She was just, uh, just an adorable, sweet little personality, a little ray of sunshine. She was autistic and apraxic, and she showed up every day with a big smile on her face, happy to be there, and gave it her best. Her parents, Bob and Michelle, came to their hometown of Baltimore to host a benefit for Josephine, also known as Joey. It's the second annual Joey's Purple Bowl held at Calvert Hall College High School in Towson. Last year, our friends got this idea and they wanted to show us their overwhelming love and support, so they threw together this ball, which was extraordinary. And in the process, um, raised over $55,000 for Joey's Fund, which is for autistic children. Joey's family is hosting this benefit to not only honor their daughter's life, but to help raise money for other children with autism by auctioning off items like the signed Manny Machado Orioles baseball bat. They also want to bring awareness to school safety. Since the Sandy Hook massacre in December of 2012, there have been 74 school shootings. That, according to Every Town for Gun Safety, a group started by former New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg. And what's even more astonishing is that those numbers were there before Sandy Hook as well. I mean, it's even before Columbine, we've, we've had violence in our schools. The gays, along with others impacted by the Sandy Hook massacre, started Safe and Sound Schools. It's a nonprofit organization that helps to empower communities on ways to improve safety and security in schools. All of the inspiration that she's left us with, all of the love, um, and, and, you know, our goal really to make this world a better place in her name and make schools safer through safe and sound. It's just amazing the, the, the tragedy that, um, that started all of this and the goodness that's come from it. This year, Joey's Purple Ball will benefit Safe and Sound Foundation. For more information, just log on to safeandsoundschools.org. Reporting live in the studio, Karen Campbell, WBAL TV 11 News.